damn you! I still exist! Oh! Howdy, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. In this case, um, Mr. Morgan meets a man, Jeremiah Compson, in the town of Rhodes, and this man explains that he's lost everything, and he wants... Mr. Morgan go back to his old um, place of residence and find an old pistol, a, a watch, and a ledger and bring them back to him because, you know, he doesn't care about the property. He just cares about these items. So you decide, you know, Mr. Morgan should help him out. And that is what I'm going to do is help out Mr. Compson after a recent mission that I didn't record, but I digress. Uh, by order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items here into the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley Clerk, November 18th, 1895. Property and everything in it has become uh, possession of the bank. And, well, can't get in the front door even shooting it. So let's see if we can do the, well, I'll shoot it first, but it ain't going to work. And then we will try the back door. Another notice, and it's going to say the same thing, by order of whatever judge, etc., etc. Now, there is a side door here, and he, that opens up. So, ledger, watch, and pistol. And you got to search the house. And you'll find certain items along the way that, well, of, are no real value. But they give you a sort of hint that this guy was respected and his job has a lineage to it. His papa, his grandpapa, etc. So, yeah, it's very interesting. June 7th, 1855. Dear sir, please accept this likeness of your family as a small token of appreciation for your assistance in the recovery of my property. Like your old pa, you're a cunning old dog and a credit to this community. <laughs> Yours, Colonel Joshua Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Thanks indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like this drawing young Josh did of you. He wants to grow up to be just like you. Sam. Now, if you search the cabin more thoroughly, you're going to find more and more notes about this man. And he's respected and admired for some reason. Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here of any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey any time. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure.
Okay. Where's all this old crap? The first item is the watch, and it is actually on the mantelpiece. If you look over to the far right, and there you have the watch. That's the old watch. Now the ledger and the pistol. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. So this guy did some work. It was very, um, how should we say, family-oriented. Now the work is gone, and he's lost everything. But, you know, you can kind of figure out maybe, potentially, what this guy did for a living. Ultimately, it will reveal itself near the end. Dear Mr. Thompson, after numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees alike, we must terminate your employment. There's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad Company. Okay, this man had done some work, and then he tried working for the railroad company and lost his job. Trap door, huh? <laughs> what you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah. Easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours? <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh, God damn it. damn it! Come on, man! Where are you going? Come on! God damn you! What you doing? Let me Now that the squatters are dealt with, you can pick up the pistol and open up the trap door and get into this a little more deeply. Pistol. Uh, just the ledger now.
Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. Ugh. June 64. God. This your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh. Rewards. January 15th, Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred, $18. May 24th, Minnie and Child, $20. Well, it turns out Mr. Compson is a, well, slave hunter, or used to be like his father and his grandfather. And it is, well, one of those things you find out, and it just winds up, you got to bring back the stuff to Mr. Compson, and then we will have things sort of play out. And, well, I'm going to fast forward to the point where Mr. Morgan returns the items to Mr. Compson. God damn it. Told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck, none of us want nothing to do with you. Rance. So, Mr. Copps and his own family apparently wants nothing to do with him from this point on. And well... Understanding that being a um, slave hunter and possibly the, how shall we say, um, attitude of him, he probably wasn't a very pleasant person. Yeah, the ride is going to be a fairly extensive one, so I'm going to do um, some fast-forwarding of things in order to get to Mr. Compson. Get on there, Booth. I'm, times wasn't perfect. I ain't saying that. It's just... It was all... It was all going to hell. Rack and ruin. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards have changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Oh, man. Some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, they are for Ooh, pissing What off. are you doing? That's, that's my history. Damn you. Damn you. I still exist. Oh. <laughs> uh, 
mission complete. But I decide not to leave him alone and, well, deal with the situation. And, of course, I'm going to steal his horse. Of course, of course, of course. And take it to the stable and make some money. Mister, I can't believe you saved my life twice. Me neither. Well, I best be getting back to town. I'm gonna eat a stiff one tonight. That's it. You ain't getting another out. That guy, Mr. Morgan, helped out. I'd helped him out before in the same area. And actually, he bought me a free hat at some point. But, yeah, I digress. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, bringing the horse to sell and make a little money and adding a little extra in there. Uh, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment. If you like this type of video, I post four videos. A week involving video games and you don't want to miss out so hit the subscribe button and bell icon thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and thanks for stopping by mm -hmm.